Hey Kings! You are once again welcome to this Premiere Pro tutorial. And today I'm going to show you 5 easiest transitions, that you can create in Premiere Pro. These are very easy effects, so stay through, to the end of the video so that you won't miss anything. And if you find this video useful, please leave a comment down below, it will mean a lot to me. And also, make sure to subscribe to the channel, so that you can get notified, anytime I post a new video. If you have already subscribed, let's jump into Premiere Pro. Okay, we already have two clips on the timeline that we are going to use for the transition. The first thing that we have to do is to create an adjustment layer. So right click on the new item button, and select adjustment layer. Accept the default settings and click OK. Now, drag the adjustment layer to the timeline, and place it on top of the two clips. Now, we are going to make the adjustment layer a bit shorter, to create a faster animation. So we are going to do that by dragging both sides to where the two clips intercept, and also, Make sure the adjustment layer is similar in length on both sides. Good. Now on the effects panel, search for find edges, and drag it to the adjustment layer. That's great. Let's move to the effects control panel. Add a keyframe to blend with original, and change the value to 100. Move to the middle of the clip and change the value to 0. And then, move to the end, and change the value back to 100. That's great. Now change the blending mode to screen. And that's it. If you follow correctly, you will have this cool transition. Now let's move to the second super easy transition. We are going to use an adjustment layer, for this transition too. So quickly, let's put the adjustment layer on top of the clips, and make it shorter. Move to the effects panel and search for Gaussian Blur. Drag and drop it to the adjustment layer. On the effects control panel, Check repeat edge pixels, to get rid of dark edges. At the beginning of the adjustment layer, add a keyframe to blurriness, and maintain the value at zero. Move to the middle, and change the value to about 150, depending on your clip. And then now, move to the end of the clip and change the value back to zero. Great. That's all we need for this transition. You will now have something like this. Fast forward. Let's move to the third transition. And again, we are going to use an adjustment layer for this transition. So as usual, let's put the adjustment layer on the two clips and shorten the length. That's good. So now on the effects panel, search for the proc amp effect, and add it to the adjustment layer. Great, let's add some keyframes in the effects control panel. Add a keyframe to brightness at the middle of the clip, and change the value to 100. Good, move to the beginning of the clip and change the value back to 0. And then lastly, move to the end of the clip and change the value to zero. That's it. And that gives you this super smooth transition. Okay. Let's move to the fourth transition which is the zoom transition. We are still going to use an adjustment layer for this transition. So simply drag and drop the adjustment layer on top of the two clips and again, shorten it for a faster animation. Search for the transform effect in the effects panel, and add it to the adjustment layer. Great. Again, let's add some keyframes in the effects control panel. Add a keyframe to scale at the middle of the clip, and change the value to about 400. Move back to the beginning of the clip and change the value to 100. And again, move to the end of the clip and change the value to 100. Uncheck use composition shutter angle, and change the angle to about 360. Now, let's have a playback and see our results. And finally, we are on the last transition, which is also the super easiest but stylish transition. But before we do that, I will be much grateful if you hit the subscribe button. It will mean a lot to me. Now, let's do the final transition. With this transition, we are not going to use an adjustment layer. What we are going to do is to put the part of the first clip that we are going to use for the transition, on top of the second clip. Good. On the effects panel, search for the gradient white effect, under transition, and add it to the first clip. Great. Now move to the effects control panel, and add a keyframe to transition completion. But before you do that, make sure you are at the beginning of the second clip on the timeline. Now, we can move forward on the timeline, and change transition completion value to 100%. And lastly, drag the last keyframe to the end of the clip. And that's it. Thank you very much for staying through for this video, I hope you found something new. If you want me to release the next 5 easiest transitions, just comment yes, in the comments down below.
And if you want to learn more basics in Premiere Pro and After Effects, check these playlists. Jesus loves you. See you next week.